Welcome to the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go back out to South Philly for some more news out of the Bruno Scarfo crime family and how it dovetails with the Gambino crime family. So Jerry Capace came out with his uh, article this week uh, talking about the changeover in leadership in the Philadelphia Mafia and how that changeover was precipitated in some way, in a pretty big some way, by the Gambinos and Lorenzo Menino. Um, and according to Jerry's reporting, uh, Lorenzo, and, and according to my reporting, Lorenzo and the West Side administration, uh, Barney, uh, Danny, Patsy, Patty, Mickey, um, Ernie, uh, that they have tapped Georgie Borghese as the new boss and that Borghese has been traveling on a frequent basis to New York to meet with uh, the Gambinos and Menino in particular. So I am going to you know, kind of break my part of that story now. Um, it, uh, I didn't report this when I got this. Um, I wanted to wait and kind of wait and see where we might be three months later. And that's where we are now. But, um, so Lorenzo Menino actually took a trip to South Philly around Memorial Day. And it was a diplomatic um, event. Uh, he brought with him administrators as well as capos. They were coming into town to meet with the uh, leaders of the Philadelphia Mafia, in particular, Georgie Borghese and Uncle Joe the Gambi. And the meeting had to do with two separate things. One being the PAR funding case, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, and the second being the, uh, there's, there, there's, from what I'm told, allegedly, there are some joint construction rackets that have been uh, being run uh, in tandem by the Gambinos and Philly guys. Some lucrative projects, some of them, Totally legit, totally legit. Not they're not, uh, you know, ripping things off. They're legitimately building things with legitimate money. Um, other parts of this could be illegal, but we don't know for sure. And that Menino and his underboss Lenny Di Maria, as well as some other capos, came into town and were here. Was here for uh, at least one day. I shouldn't say was here, was in South Philly at least one day. And at the end of that day, they ended um, they ended that day of the trip with a after hours meal at a very popular South Philly uh, a bar and restaurant. I'm not going to name it, um, but it's something that's kind of a staple. And uh, it was held there after hours, after the place had closed, and there was a whole spread, uh, two o'clock in the morning, and they ate till like four. Um, Lorenzo, Lenny Di Maria, a couple other people, uh, Georgie, Uncle Joe, to discuss these these issues. So let's go to um, the Laforte brothers for a second, the Gambino soldiers, uh, Joe Mack Laforte and Jimmy the Leopard Laforte, grandsons of former Gambino mob uh, capo regime, Joe the Cat Laforte, who was a Neil De La Croce guy, huge earner. Um, and allegedly these Laforte brothers are in Lorenzo Menino's former crew. Before Lorenzo Menino, the acting Don of the Gambinos became, you know, before he went into the administration, he was a capo of the Sicilian faction of the Gambinos and um, you have a situation here where 
the Lafortes are in that crew. And Lorenzo's, one of Lorenzo's protégés, Joe Brooklyn, Joe Lani, who's also under indictment right now, is a couple of that crew. And the Laforte brothers, or at least one of the Laforte brothers, was stationed in Philadelphia and was one of, if not the one of the representatives for, for Lorenzo and the, and the Gambinos in Philadelphia. Uh, in Old City, in that neighborhood, they opened up a, 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 a loan business called Par Funding. And according to the government, according to plea deals that were accepted this week by both the Forte brothers, they perpetrated a $100 million securities fraud, uh, racketeering extortion in relation to par funding. So um, it was of concern uh, uh, to Lorenzo. He wanted to come in and talk about it. They've both caught pleas. They're both probably about to go do 10 years in prison. And uh, Joe Lonnie's name in Joe in, in Joe Brooklyn's case that he's now under indictment for, it was a reference to him accepting a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars from uh, par funding from the Lafortes. The government is describing it as tribute, and that's what they're going to try to prove. So it also makes you wonder if the Gambinos were operating in Old City and they were making this kind of money. I, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to speculate, but who was getting greased in, in, in the region this was happening in? And this wasn't their territory. This was the Bruno Scarfo territory. So they couldn't just come in and, and operate with impunity. And I've also been told that a very, an immediate family member of a very, very high ranking member of the Philadelphia mob uh, was employed at, at Par Funding at one point, not when the bus came down. So Lorenzo was in town talking about that. It's interesting that Lorenzo came to Philadelphia for that. And now all the, the Philly guys have been going to uh, New York ever since. The fact that a boss or even an acting boss like Lorenzo would travel like that. Um, it, it speaks to the, the very critical nature of the situation, the tenuous nature, the, um, how important all this is, uh, and delicate. So, uh, again, if you're riding with OG pod, uh, you're riding, you're riding with gangster report. You're always going to be getting the, the latest scoop before anyone gets it. We were eight months ahead of everyone on this. Philadelphia, New York story. Um, and and it, that's just, you know, honestly, that despite what, what some of the naysayers like to say, that's par for the course. And if we get something wrong, we'll always say we get it wrong. But uh, we are always going to be giving you the latest and uh, most compelling stories, uh, the, the best sourcing, the most exclusive sourcing, and um, be breaking stories like this for the foreseeable future. So if you want to really know your LCN, your biker bosses, your drug kingpins, OG Pod is the place to come. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.